The question is, is Tom McDonald a Christian? No. When people say, judge not lest ye be judged, that's basically saying, don't look at my sin and tell me it's sin. It's constantly taken out of context to say, shut up Christian, I'm going to do whatever I want to do and you don't tell me that it's wrong. That's not what Jesus is saying. Later on in the chapter, he says, don't give dogs what's sacred and don't throw your pearls to pigs. Well, wait a minute. If I can't pass some judgment, how do I know who's a dog and how do I know who's a pig? He's saying to discern right from wrong. If we can discern based on what somebody says and how somebody acts, then we can pass a certain type of judgment. The question is, is Tom McDonald a Christian? I'm going to show you the video that got me asking this question. This was released a couple days ago by Tom McDonald promoting his new song, Black and White. We're trying to defeat the evil Doja Cat. And we can't do it without you. Doja Cat's a Satanist. She's part of the evil music industry. And she's really weird looking. And she's number one on iTunes. And me and my friends, we're number two on iTunes. And we want to take that number one spot from the evil Doja Cat. So when I saw him saying that Doja Cat was a Satanist, and I was like, wow, uh, the music industry is evil. I'm like, yeah, okay. That's when I was like, okay, is he a Christian? He's appealing to Christians who make up uh, probably a lot of his fan base because he has conservative values. He's making a plea to Christians to go and buy his new song. What does that song sound like? Well, I'm glad you asked. Pop in the truck, 10 of my buddies are already drunk. We don't go nowhere that doesn't have liquor and cigarettes, ride a mechanical bulls in the club. In case you didn't hear the lyrics, they go like this. Pop in the truck, 10 of my buddies are already drunk. We don't go nowhere that doesn't have liquor and cigarettes. Okay, full stop. So he's promoting a song about getting drunk by making a video saying that Doja Cat is evil because she's a Satanist. Let's see what scripture has to say about this. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 through 11. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But here's the good news. But you were washed, you were sanctified, and you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Spirit of our God. So to me, it's pretty obvious that Tom McDonald isn't a Christian based on how he chose to start a song. Now, he avoids the music industry because it's quote-unquote evil, but he is promoting the same exact thing that the music industry promotes. Don't take my word for it. Let's see what Tom McDonald has to say when somebody asks him if he is a Christian. Look, I hate at answering that question especially because like, aside from politics, the most divisive thing on the planet has to be uh, religion. Like it just has to be. Like what else divides people more than religion and politics? Maybe you know, race and creed and like that, but those are definitely the top three. Um, Look, I don't like, I would say that I am a spiritual person, okay? I had been to church when I was a kid. I've been to church. It's not my thing. I don't like organized government. I don't like organized religion. I don't like organized anything. So Tom says that he hates talking about religion because it's divisive. However, if you listen to his music, all he talks about is politics and obviously getting drunk and smoking cigarettes and beating people up. He talks about politics more than anything else. He's a political artist, and yet he doesn't want to talk about religion. He's right, religion is divisive. Jesus himself said, don't assume I came to bring peace on the earth. I didn't come to bring peace, but a sword dividing son against father, a mother against daughter, because the word of God is as sharp as a double-edged sword. That's what scripture says. So yeah, it's divisive. It's dividing the sheep from the goat. Religion is divisive because there is only one truth and people hate it. This man says he doesn't like organized anything or he doesn't like organized anything. However, he's made it without 
the music industry. He sells his own records, he distributes his own stuff himself. How can you say you don't like organized anything when you're probably the most organized person on the face of the earth? If you can make it in the music industry by distributing your own music, you're, you've got to be organized. Sorry. It's not like that I don't believe, because I do believe. When I'm going through hard times, when I'm dealing with pain, when I'm dealing with hardships, when I'm running up against obstacles, I pray. I pray all the time. I'm just not exactly sure who those prayers are reaching, but I know they're reaching someone. And I've seen the proof in my life. So I do believe, I do have faith. I'm just not exactly sure what's receiving my message. I don't know if it was a guy that was nailed to a cross. I don't know if it's a fat dude named Buddha. I don't know if it's an eight-armed elephant. I don't know, I just don't know. But I know it's something. So I pray and I believe in something. It's just not conventional and it's not organized and it's not packaged up into a perfect little box. This organized religion thing, saying what's right, putting Tom McDonald in a quote box. Yeah, because inside the box is truth. Outside the box is false. So what's striking to me is that he says that he prays. He doesn't know to who, he just he just prays. So he basically is just yelling into the nothingness, hoping that somebody's gonna hear him. But if you've ever seen a video of a homeless guy that's just screaming in the middle of the street, who's gonna respond? Nobody's gonna respond. The truth is, is that God is a jealous God. He has made himself known to you. The Bible says that the whole earth speaks of God. We're talking about the big G God, the OG God, the God that created everything and his son Jesus. Now, the difference between all these other religions and Christianity is that Jesus is the only one that claimed to be God, A. B, you can't earn salvation in Christianity. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Every single one of us have sinned and we cannot earn salvation. It is of the grace of God that we are saved. Now that grace is a free gift and God has offered it to you. You can't expect to be yelling into the nothingness with no belief system at all that grounds you and expect a response. Like I went to like a couple Catholic schools when I was a kid and like they were always very like God fearing. And they would say that like, you have to accept God as your Lord and savior or God like won't have a relationship with you and he won't let you into heaven and blah, 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 blah. But like, this is how I feel. My God, my God understands why I'm skeptical. My God's like, hey man, literally the whole world is foolish and everybody's lying about everything. The news lies, the paper lies, the radio lies, the president lies, the politicians lie, the doctors lie, pharma lies, the schools lie. The cops lie, the people lie, everybody's lying. So how could, he'd be like, how could I expect you to take somebody's word saying that like, oh yeah, it was Jesus or it was Buddha or it was Shiva or it was whatever. When, when I finally get to those pearly gates, he's gonna be like, whether it's Jesus or God or Buddha or Shiva or whatever it is, he's gonna be like, hey, fully understand why you didn't like, put a label on me and why you were questioning it because the whole world's full of flyers. But hey, here I am, this is what I am. Welcome to the party. We have just ventured into the territory of idolatry. He says, my God. First of all, one of the 10 commandments is thou shall have no other gods but me. And you're saying that your God is gonna understand why you didn't accept the truth. You say you believe in a God, but you don't know if it's Jesus or Buddha or blah, 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 blah. Jesus says that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. So there you go. If you don't accept Jesus, you're not getting into heaven. So what's my point? If we're listening to music that does not honor God, we're absorbing that. Just like if we watch something that doesn't honor God, we're absorbing that. We're storing it. The Bible says a good man brings good things out of the good that is stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil that's stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. I had a pastor friend of mine who in the car, we would listen to the old school rock that was very provocative. And I was like, what are we listening to? He said, to the spiritual man, all things are spiritual. Now, two or three years later, that man went on to divorce his wife, started smoking pot, rejected Christ, and is 
sleeping with random chicks off the internet. The point I'm trying to make is we store the things in our heart that we intentionally put before us. The truth is that Jesus died for you. Jesus loves you. God sent his one and only son because he loves you. Can you imagine dying for somebody and as you're being crucified, as you're bleeding out, they're gambling over your clothes and you say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That's the love that Jesus had for you. Tom McDonald, that's the love that Jesus has for you. He's made himself known to you. Now, are you going to be able to overcome the bad experiences that you had in Catholic school? Billy Graham said that it's kind of like a religion vaccine. You get a little bit so you don't get the real thing. Tom, Jesus is reaching out to you from the cross. He's saying, I love you. Let's restore the brokenness and sing your songs about me. I hope you don't think that I'm hating on Tom McDonald. No, I have all the respect in the world for this man. And I, I have all the hope in the world because Jesus redeemed me. And if he can redeem me, he can redeem anybody. So with that being said, be careful of what you put in front of you because you're going to store that in your heart. And the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Thank you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.